Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. You would see. Oh. Parker, that can you allow the um, uh, Catherine Jeffries, uh, add Catherine Jeffrey to the list I just emailed you and who can be displayed? And Nancy Greenstein. What do you mean Santa display? They can, they, we can see, you can allow them to be seen. Oh, they can. They're members, yes. They should be able to do all oh, that, they do that on their own. Okay. So I guess we'll, or do we have people waiting to come in? Um, well, we've got everybody that's required to get started. We've got the four com members of the commission, so. Okay, well, um, no reason not to start. We're all here. I'm gonna um, call this meeting to order of the Malibu Public Facilities Authority meeting um, for I'm just looking at my wrong agenda. But anyway, um, for today, which is three sixteen. I I feel like I need a do over. <laughs> I, I had the I was looking at the wrong document. But anyway, I have the right one now. And um I thought maybe we'd start with uh, just some introductions before the meeting. At, at our last meeting, we, we didn't really take time to do that. And Chair, um, Chair Greenstein, may I call the roll first and get through these additions first? Of course you can. Okay. Chair Greenstein? Here. Uh, Commissioner Quinones Perez? Is she here? Oh, I don't see her yet. Uh, Commissioner Grisanti? Here. Commissioner Green or Silverstein? I'm here. You have a quorum. Okay, thank you. Then why don't we just take a minute to do some introductions? There are some new people. And um, I'll start. I'm Nancy Greenstein. I'm, I'm the chair this year. And um, I've been on this board basically from the beginning. And why don't I just... Why don't we just pass it to each other? So I'm going to pass it to um, Bruce Silverstein. Okay, so I am Bruce Silverstein. Um, I am the current mayor pro tem of the city of Malibu. I've been on the um, city council now since November of 2020, I guess December of 2020. And I participated in, the, in one meeting of this group um, three or four months ago. And um, it was very interesting and informative to me, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to enjoy continuing that. That's it. And Paul, I'm, I don't I'm Paul Grisanti. I'm current mayor of Malibu. I missed the meeting uh, on the 8th, and I apologize for that. I had something else scheduled previously. But I'm here today, and I'm looking forward to it and outside the window, I can see the building. So wow. I'm looking forward to seeing it finished. So how does it look from your viewpoint? Well, there's, uh, they're, they're working on the, uh, on the eaves right now. So, but it's, it's up again above the trees. The trees have leaves on them now so that I can only see the roof line now. Oh. So, but it, it, it certainly looks a lot more done than it ever has. And I'm constantly amazed at the people who say to me, hey, what's that new building? Nice. And That's kind of exciting for us to hear. Thank you. Yeah. And um, I, I don't see, is Margaret, are you on the call? I don't see her yet. And I'm asking Letty to check with her and see if she's coming. I believe she's oh, looks like she's logging on now. Okay, so let's just, um, let's have, um, Catherine, why don't you introduce yourself and then we'll have the city manager introduce himself and we'll get going. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Superintendent Catherine Jeffrey at Santa Monica College now for six years. 
happy to be part of this uh, very unique educational partnership opportunity between uh, uh, the college and the campuses that, that we um, are privileged to be part of. Thank you. Let's see, I think, Margaret, are you on the line now? Yes. Okay, we were just introducing ourselves. Um, so why don't you introduce yourself? Um, Margaret Quinones Perez, member of the board, Santa Monica College Board. Okay, and um, City Manager McCleary, go ahead. Thank you, Chair Greenstein. Uh, again, Steve McCleary, Interim City Manager for the City of Malibu. I've been with the city since May of last year. Uh, and let's just go through uh, the, the uh, city staff that are here. So mm -hmm. I will pass this now to um, our Interim Assistant City Manager, Ruthie Quinto. Hi, I'm Ruthie Quinto, and I am the interim assistant city manager. I also am the city's treasurer and have been for the past couple of years. Uh, my husband and I are fortunate to um, have a little place here in Malibu, and it's my pleasure to serve. Thank you. Were there other folks from Malibu who wanted to introduce themselves? Otherwise, um, Catherine, do you want to introduce anybody from the staff from SMC? Sure, I'll start with uh, Don. Are you trying to say something? Yeah, there's two more uh, Malibu staff members. Okay. Hello, uh, commissioners. My name is Elizabeth Shabelson. I also work for the city of Malibu, and I'm the assistant to the city manager. Thank you. We also have Kristen Riesco on the call as well. Kristen, if you want to introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Kristen Riesco. Um, I am the Deputy Director of Community Services, and we do all the programming, recreation programming for the city in my department. Thank you. And Don, do you want to introduce yourself? Don Gerard, um, Senior Director, Government Relations uh, with the college. Been with this project since uh, since. Uh, uh, day 1000, and I'm looking forward to day zero. And anybody else from the college you want to introduce? So, so Chris and, and, uh, Chris and Bradley. Charlie and Bradley. Chris Bonvenuto, Vice President of Business and Administration for the district. Bradley? Uh, Bradley Lane, Vice President for Academic Affairs at the district. Okay. And Charlie. Charlie. Charlie and Sherry. Oh, okay. Good afternoon. My name is Charlie Yan. I'm Director of Facility Planning and Construction for the District. Okay. Hi, I'm Sherry Davis, and I serve as a Special Project Manager for the college, and I believe Maral Heiler is with us as well. Thank you, Sherry. Hi, everyone. Maral Heiler, Director of Academic Affairs. I'll be working on programming at the Malibu campus. And also, isn't our, isn't you, you rock. Yep. You knock. Introduce yourself. Hi, uh, my name is Yu Walt Lo. I'm the new assistant director for facility planning, working with uh, Charlie. Thank you. Okay. Well, that's nice. Nice to hear everybody's voices. And I'm excited that folks are already seeing the building going up and asking about it. That was good to hear. So now let's move to approval of agenda. agenda. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion that we approve the agenda as written. Okay, a second? I'll second. Okay, if there's no discussion, then let's vote. I think we're gonna do a roll call. Sorry, I was unmuted. Um, Commissioner Grisanti? Yes. Commissioner Quinones Perez? She's, she's oh, off the line. Commissioner Silverstein? Yes. Chair Greenstein? Yes. And Commissioner Quinones Perez? Yes. Motion carries. Okay, thank you. And would you report on the um, posting of the agenda? Yes, the agenda for this meeting was properly posted on March 14th, 2022. 
Thank you. And um, we're up to written and oral communications from the public. And do we have any today? We have no speakers, thank you. Okay, thank you. And um, is there any technical reports at this time? 1B, I'm looking at. This would be from either uh, Ms. Jeffrey or Mr. McClary, if they have anything to report. I have nothing to report under this item. Thank you. Be happy to take any questions. Okay. Is this where we do our update on the center, Ruthie? It's, a, it's the next item. Okay, then I have nothing to share at this point in the program agenda. Thank you. Okay, thank you, everybody. And next we're at um, the approval of the minutes. And um, is there a motion? So moved. Second. Second. Okay. Um, I, is there anyone who wants to um, say anything about approval of the minutes? Otherwise, why don't we vote? Aye. Okay. Commissioner Quinones Perez, yes. Uh, Commissioner Silverstein? Yes. Commissioner Grisanti? Yes. Chair Greenstein? Yes. Motion carries. Okay, thank you, everybody. And now we're at the new business. And so we're up to the Santa Monica College Malibu Campus Community Outreach Report. And I'm turning it over to... So we're, we're turning it over to Bradley. Or are we gonna start with the facilities first? Thank you, Paul. Bradley, what is your time? I would be happy to go now. That would be great. Can we start with Can we start with Bradley? Without, because sure. he has a has a early early exit. Thank you. Um, I'm going to share my screen because, as the agenda indicates, as part of our community outreach efforts, we are designing a survey to assess community needs for the upcoming Malibu campus. And I'd be happy to take you through the survey that we've designed. It's on the, the SMC website um, on our pages about the Malibu campus. Um, we would love to have, after um, I walk through the survey, um, feedback. This is very much still in the drafting stage. And so I'm open to other suggestions. Um, we have time to change. We're just testing the survey right now. It's really designed to assess community interest. Um, trying to understand from individuals um, if they have enrolled at Santa Monica College in the past, and if so, um, for what educational goal, how likely they or a member of their family is to enroll in a class at SMC in the next um, few years, and what kind of educational goal that would, um, we could help them achieve, whether that's completing a credit-based degree or certificate, taking a non-credit class, taking emeritus classes, which are which is our non-credit program for older adults, lifelong learning, or taking a community education class that's more about personal enrichment or professional development. Inquiring of the survey takers, really the time of day that they're most interested, um, that will help us as we start to program out our schedule. And then we go into some detail, um, providing some sample classes based on the discussion that we had with this group the, at the last month's meeting. Um, this really comes um, from classes already that we offer that draw uh, members of the Malibu population, as well as um, you'll see, you know, a little further down classes that we have offered um, as, a, as a result of our dual enrollment uh, program with um, Malibu High. So in Emeritus, really asking respondents whether they themselves would like to take such a course or whether they could imagine other Malibu residents wanting to take such a course. These are our um, our classes for older adults, and there are a range of options from drawing and painting to writing, to Tai Chi, to literature, to current events and music appreciation. On the non-credit side of the house, um, certificates in sustainability, in bike maintenance, in working with older adults, in um, a certification for um, au pairs, in community education, real estate licensure, serving on a nonprofit board, 
running organizations, again, writing, photography, um, various certifications that we offer on the non-credit side. If we were gonna offer a credit base, like an associate degree or a credit based certificate, we have basically eight major areas of study at the college and then really, you know, over a hundred degrees and certificates underneath that, but starting to, to delve into population interest to determine if there's a particular sector of degrees or certificates that seem to be more appealing. And then of course, space to uh, provide more free response a series of questions around community events and the, the ways in which they might imagine external events or groups reserving a site at the Malibu campus and a listing of the kinds of spaces that are available, as well as some um, ability to free write. Um, a question, in fact, in, includes a, the interpretive center, which is a space in the front of the building that can be used in multiple ways, could house topical exhibits, could house exhibitions of, of arts or performances, um, and really querying from the community how they would most like to see the space used. Um, and a series of questions really related about um, our, our ways of enrolling high school students, first asking if um, the respondent has a seventh to 12th grader, um, and then the kinds of classes that, that, they, that they might see that seventh or 12th grader be interested in, and whether that would happen at the high school, at the SMC um, Malibu campus location. Um, but this to me um, mirrors the kind of strategy that we presented at the last meeting where we said there's going to be a comprehensive range of educational programs. We imagine there being a, a mix of credit and non-credit classes, um, community ed classes, non-credit classes, classes for older adults. And we're hoping this will help us kind of zero in on where there is um, the most community interest. So would love to take questions or get some feedback about the survey design. And I don't see a um, a chat that I can put the, the URL link to the survey in, but I'm happy to share that as well. Mm -hmm. Mr. Gerard shared the link with me and I will share that with um, all the participants. Thank you, Mary. Okay. Are there any questions or comments? You can raise your hands either virtually or just on the screen, I can see it. So where is the surfing class? That's what I want. Well, we don't currently have a surfing class, but we might create one special for Malibu. I see Steve's hand. Thank you, Bradley. And I'm sorry if I jumped in front of you, Mayor Grisante. Um, no problem. Bradley, could you scroll back to the part where it talked about, uh, it was just above the high school program where it talked about the community uh, events. Yeah, thank you. I just wanted to, to look at that and circle back on that for a moment. So, um, okay, so the interpretive center space in front of the building that can be used in multiple ways. So, out, guys, so this is this is this is an a, an outdoor space or is there indoor space too? And sorry if I'm getting too into the weeds here. Uh, and I guess kind of an extension question that I have here is uh, we've heard a, a lot of of folks in the community who are looking for locations where they can uh, show movies, or, you know, um, you know those types of events. And I'm wondering if you could comment on the on the possibility of that here. Thank you. Sure, great question. And I apologize if someone else had their hand raised. It was just the 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 hand that was that the hand function raised um, Steve to the the front of my screen. The um, interpretive center space is it's indoor space. It's at the it's basically at the front first floor, has a separate entrance. Um, so it is not outdoor space. It is pretty flexible in terms of its design. Um, in reference to your question, whether it would be appropriate for showing films, I think there's a lot of window space in the interpretive center. Um, if we were thinking about um, locations that might best show films, the lecture hall probably would feel maybe more appropriate for that space because of the ability to control lighting and to project. Um, but I, I, I too have heard that um, request from the community and um, you know I, I can imagine us having a really viable solution to, to that particular request too. Hey, uh, um, go ahead, Paul. 
Uh, Bradley, how do we know how big the uh, lecture hall is? How many people it's designed to accommodate? I think we do. I might ask Charlie for that information. Yes, uh, the lecture hall on the second floor can see 96 people. Okay, great. All right, and my other thing is, when is this uh, survey going to be available and how are we going to get it out to our people? So we're doing a, we're doing a couple things. Um, uh, we intend to do a direct mail, basically a, a postcard asking people to use the survey online. Uh, we're not thinking of, of uh, paper surveys, but we are going to do at least a uh, double postcard mailing. We're going to take ads out in the in the Malibu Times. Um, we're also um, uh, working to acquire a list of the businesses in the area, so that it's not just a residential list, but a business list. And then uh, uh, additionally, we haven't settled on the date, but our basic thought is, is that there'll be a community forum probably in May and another community forum probably in October. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions or comments? The, the only thing we're actually having to deal with, it's a new issue for a lot of us, but there's a paper shortage. And so we have to now add in a week or two weeks to make certain that we have the paper necessary to do these mailings. Okay. Do we have access to an email for the, for the residents of the city, perhaps? I'd be happy to try to answer that question. I'm not sure if that was directed to me, Mayor Grisante, but what I was going to ask and offer to Mr. Gerard that we can certainly help the college with that outreach. Uh, we have a you know, number of ways that we can push out the information through the city's channels uh, to get word out to the community to encourage them to take that survey. So we'd be happy to help if that's something the uh, college would like us to do. Great, and we, we also will be working with, uh, I don't know how he pronounces this station, but the KBU uh, radio station. Good. Thank you for the opportunity to share that survey and thank you for your questions. Okay, are there any other comments about this item? Well, we look forward to the survey and then beginning to discuss the results. And I think, um, you know, having the people fill it out online is also a way to direct them to some of the information about our programs so they can see what's being offered. Um, and see what they might like to have closer to them here. All right, the next item is, um, I think you had one more, Don, right? Yes, Charlie, Charlie is gonna present a visual overview of the, of the progress. And I want him to linger on the picture of it that has the ocean in the background. Just such a beautiful picture. Mary, are you going to do that? Okay. So we can go next slides, please. So this is our new campus in Malibu. As you can see that it was gorgeous day in this January of this year. And uh, is, uh, we have a beautiful background, backdrop for our um, new campus. Next. And this is seen from the back of the campus. And you can see the uh, Legacy Park in front and the ocean in the back. We're in a beautiful surrounding here in Malibu. Next. We're continuing installing curtain wall on the building, including uh, getting glass install so we can start seal the building and uh, install, start installing drywall and all the interior um, equipment and, and, and devices. Next. This is a view from the southwest corner 
of the building. The uh, glass arching, the wood plank you see on the middle of the building, those are for ventilation louver which haven't arrived yet. And we want to keep the building clean. So we put plywood up to, to so we will not have any moisture or uh, dust going inside the building. Next. And we started the side work. Here's on uh, walkway in front of the building. Next. And here's the tiers for next to shares to permits for our student to gather, relax, uh, enjoy the sunshine in Malibu. Next. And electric gear, gear are in, and all electric and start running wires now. This is uh, in the, our uh, electrical yard. Next. And roof, this is a very complicated roof. There's had like, like seven layer to the roof. And as you can see that, it, it's one making progress on the roof also. Next. Could you tell us what's in the layers? Well, you have a deck, roof deck, then you have insulation, then you have a upper bore and two layer of waterproofing and a, a, a inner layer on top of that. And then you have a zinc roofing panel on top of that. Mm. So it's a very complicated roof. And it's gonna be gorgeous when we're done with it. Next. Here is a um, geo area. As you can see, it's all painted. Uh, we haven't put in the ceiling because we are still running in infrastructure in the geo area, but it's all painted. Next thing we're gonna do is polish the floor and then start installing uh, plumbing fixture in the, in the geos. So, this is going to be completed fairly, fairly soon. Next. And this is a shared department area. This is your shower. So you can see we stop installing tile. Next. And this is a shared department hallway in the back. On to the right are offices. As you can see the drywall start going in on the ceiling. Next. And this is your lobby area. Uh, the counter you see there is the front counter tool for the sheriff. And there will be a bulletproof glass right on front of that counter and all the work will be behind it. And the jail is behind that in that dark area. And there's a double door to get into a jail area. Next. This is a framing of our inter um, interpreter center. Interpreter center is two story high. Uh, so it's very, we get a lot of air and not air, but a lot of lights coming into to the, to the room. Next. And this is a hallway SMC side. As you can see the drywall is up. Next. And we are starting install a weather barrier. So we can, next day we'll be getting um, plaster on the wall. Next. Um, this is our main lobby to SMC. As you can see that the mosaic tile are up and we're installing the main staircase to go up to the second floor. Next. And this is looking from second floor down. You can see the second floor lobby area. Next. Second floor lobby area. Yeah, I can, can also see that the, the seating of many area have been painted already. Next. The second floor, we're still working on infrastructure. So soon we finish infrastructure, that's on getting plumbing, electrical and telecommunication um, conduit install, then we'll start doing the drywall just like first floor. You might not notice this that this is a, the center of the, of the building is a, it's open air design. So this area and downstairs on the first floor will get fresh air out from inside. So 
the center lobby area is not is not enclosed building in the center. Next. And this is uh, looking from second floor into an interpreter center. Next. It's just another view from the front of the building. Looking at that gorgeous backdrop that we have in Malibu. Next. We are estimated completion day in November, 2022. We're pushing back one month. Um, last night I spoke to you guys was completed. It's an estimate completion day was in October, 2022. We had to shut the site down twice due to COVID. And I mean, shut it down and nobody's there. Get everybody out of there. Um, we have like seven to 10 people that had to be quarantined quarantine. So we're pushing the project back a month to, to make up the time. And meanwhile, I've been working with contractors to see how we can catch up. So we'll be able to keep the original uh, schedule. But at this point, I'm calling in that will be completed by November of 2022. Next. So here's my contact information and our website. You can contact me anytime by phone or email. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Thank you. Are there questions now or comments? I don't think I see any hands, but I, I, I have a question. Um, in terms of safety features, because this is a shared building with the sheriffs, and I, you know, you mentioned that, of course, there'll be bulletproof glass in the lobby. Um, for the sheriff's station, Which, could you talk a little bit about the sort of the, the building and in terms of safety and what we're doing? Well, the sheriff's department, they are, they, they have security cameras around the building for the sheriff. And, and when you go into a jail area, you, you have double doors and you can only open one door at a time. And the sheriff have their own parking, secure parking area. So when they bring in non soccer people, they go in the back away from the public and they had to go to one auto gate and two door to get into a jail area. And from there, they will be able to be processed. So, so maybe, uh, you know, no rush, but maybe we could put together um, just some facts about that for, for us and others who might be interested because it is a shared building and we will be having students use it as well. So okay. maybe if, if, if in case somebody is interested in us, we'll have some answers for them. Yeah, well, I'll put something in, in the general term because I don't think Cher wants us to- they, Yeah, they don't want the details. The detail, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But just, just it's an interesting, it's an interesting sharing arrangement. So I, I think we should um, get ahead of it. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? Okay, I do see it. Mayor Grisante. Uh, Charlie, is, is uh, there any internal doors between the Sheriff's Department area and the school area? Or is there's, it? There's one door. Uh, the first room downstairs closest to the Sheriff's Department SMT side is a it's a uh, emergency operations center for city and county. So there's one door. So just in case when there's emergency need operations going on, the share can use go directly from the sheriff's area into our area. And of course there are other door around our side, SMC side that could be secure. So we'll be only sure be, be able to use the room when we come to that, that emergency operation. So that one door will be lockable. Yes, yes, all the door to shares areas are lockable. Great, thank you. City Manager McClary, you have your hand up. Yes, thank you. And I apologize for this question. It, it comes from a certain level of ignorance, but uh, I wondered if somebody could explain the, uh, I'm not clear on the, on the, I think it's the basic nature of the arrangement of the property. Uh, is it owned by the, the county? Is the uh, 
uh, is the school district, uh, the college uh, leasing that property? And I'm not quite then sure how the the sheriff's station fits in with that. I figured you could probably explain that to us, Don. Thank you. Um, so the the property is owned by the um, county, so it's the it's the county center. Um, we have a, I believe it's a 99 year lease with the county. The um, at the point of when the we are finished with the improvements to the sheriff's station, um, I, I don't quite know the legal mechanism, but basically we turn over to the county that portion of our building, and it and it reverts to them. It's not we do not lease that portion of the building uh, after construction. So the operation, um, I mean, there's there's some strategies to deal with some of the shared utilities and some of those kind of issues. But basically, by by virtue of the uh, written documents between us and the county, the, that that portion of the building is county property, not Santa Monica College property. And there are some uh, side arrangements in the in the lease, and they have to do with the arrangements that have been made for the uh, the labor exchange and then uh, availability to the farmer's market on Sundays. And um, some division of, at least in concept, some division of the parking lot that's in front of the building and in front of the library. Other questions or comments? I don't see any hands. Well, oh, I, oh, Charlie, you might mention something about the tower. Uh, when, at what point does the tower show up? Uh, tower will be here in April. It's a 75 foot towers for communication for the county to use. And will it be available before the building opens or? Uh, Right now, we are trying to get the building done. And once uh -huh. we have a sustainable completion, then we'll turn the building over to the county for there to install their equipment. Okay. okay. Right, if there are uh, no other items. Sherry, for... Sherry has her hand up. Oh, she does. Yes, you do now. Okay, go ahead. I'm just going to mention that I know one of the things that uh, we hoped maybe to get some feedback during this meeting or after this meeting was on uh, how to do the signage on the parking lot. How to do what? The signage on the parking lot. Okay. So maybe we table that, but I just wanted to mention it. We have a request into the city of Malibu to get what is are the city regulation on it and once we receive that from the city then we can start thinking about how we're going to address this issue and i'm happy to check in with my planning staff to make sure that we're getting that to you as soon as we can thank you okay now i don't see any other hands is there any other conversation about this topic No? Okay. Then um, are there any commissioner items? I don't believe there are, but give people an opportunity in case they want to share something. And um, with that being said, I think we're coming to the end of the meeting on my agenda. Um, do we, we talked about how, how, often we wanna have these meetings and this is getting pretty close uh, with a, a possibility of um, something happening in late fall. So when do we wanna have our next meeting? Shorter period of time, a longer period of time? I would think that every two months would be probably ideal as we're closing in on it here. And I, mm -hmm. I think that the more finished the building gets, the more questions are going to come up so yeah i 
I agree. That's a good recommendation. Is everyone comfortable with that? Yes. Okay. Then we'll um, look for a uh, look for a date about two months from now to have another meeting, and um, I look forward to seeing all the progress. So, with um with that, then if there's no other no other conversation or discussion, then is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Okay. All in favor? Yeah. Okay, Hi. we're adjourned. <laughs>